Hey, what's going on everybody? How are we doing today? Today we're going to put the Roborock S4 Max through the good old stress test. I believe this is either number 13 or 14 on this test, and I think it's going to be one of the best. Uh, the two best so far was the Roborock S5 and the iRobot Roomba S9 Plus. And I expect this to be just as good as the S5, so hopefully I'm right. This thing's only $320 right now, which is an absolute steal for a really good LiDAR-based robot. And uh, let me show you the mess once again. And then first, we have two more on deck. We have the Shark IQ, the newest model they have with the smaller self-empty bin, then the Shark Ion. So that'll be put the, through the same exact test really soon. So anyways, as always, we have chips, rice, and I throw out 12 jelly beans just to see if I can handle it. So here's the mess. Good sized mess for any robot to tackle. Most robots are not going to be able to do this with one cleaning. That's why I always do all the tests on max power. And I'll typically send them out two times. And then we'll see at the end how well it cleans. So as you can see, lots of debris on the hardwood. But I really think this robot's going to do an excellent job. So looking forward to that. All right, let's just go ahead and get into it. One thing I noticed when I set this guy up, you do have to download the Roborock app. All the other robots work on their app that's called Mi Home, M-I-I -I Home. So this one you do have to use Roborock's app. So here we have it, S4 Max. All right, we're gonna send this guy out. I got him on max power. And once again, hopefully this does an awesome oh, job. Two thousand PA suction, lots of power. And as you know, with all lighter based systems, they always start with an edge cleaning, and then they'll work their way inside the box that they just created. I really do have high hopes for this guy. I really hope it's going to clean as good as my S5. My S5 is one of my top favorite robots. I just wish Roborock would come out with a self-empty bin. It just did have a brand new firmware update, so it's fully updated. And uh, yeah, I really hope it does an awesome job. Most of these push around the jelly beans until they hit carpet, and then the carpet forces it up inside. Like so. What do you guys think? Do you think it's possible at all for this to clean up all this on one run instead of running it twice? There's been a couple robots in this series that I stopped at for the first run because there was barely anything left. So there really wasn't a point in doing the second run. I have a feeling I'm gonna be doing that with this guy, but we'll see. And then as always, I'm gonna set this on the tripod, speed it up for you guys. And then at the end, we'll check out how good it does. All right guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Please do me a big favor, smash that like button and subscribe. Got a lot more videos coming like this. 
And uh, let me know in the comments what you want to see. Enjoy, I'm gonna speed it up, man. All right, it is done rather quickly. That's one another great thing about the Rover Rock. It cleans very quickly. And there's tons of battery life left on this guy. So let's take a look at how well it did on the first run. You know, not the greatest I've seen. However, still quite good for the first run. Nice streak of rice there. Not sure why I missed that. One jelly bean. A little bit of rice left on the floor. Not much, though, for that giant mess that was there. Good amount along the staircase there. Roborock S5 definitely did better in this test that I put it up. I think that one I only ran it once and said it was done because there was only a couple crumbs and there wasn't really a reason to clean it. So I'm going to go ahead and run this one more time. I'm going to do that off camera just because this is already a long video. And once it's done, I will show you the results. I expect for this little bit that's left, this all should be completely gone. All right, we are done with number two. The robot, that is. Um, <laughs> so both times is on max suction. And let's take a look at how well it did. As you can see, we got one jelly bean right there. For whatever reason, there's a good amount of rice here, along with some rice just spread kind of, kind of all over, in just certain areas, which is kind of weird. Got some left debris here. Hardwood looks pretty good overall. A few pieces here and there. I'd say it's pretty much a pass on the hardwood. However, I will say without a doubt, the S5 cleaned better. And like I said, if I remember right, I only ran that thing once and it left pretty much what you see here, just a tiny, tiny bit of a mess to where I didn't even need to run it again. So S5 so far in my first main test is actually still quite a bit better. I really thought this was going to be on par, which don't get me wrong, it's cleaning very well. Still a great robot for the price, but the S5, in my opinion, so far, it does a much better job cleaning overall. And that's just based off this one test. Of course, I'm going to do a lot more tests with this guy. I'm going to open up to the floor plan, and then we'll see how good it maps compared to the S5 and all that other good stuff. But surprisingly, it didn't do as good as I thought. It left a lot more debris than I expected. And... Yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. All right, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. If you haven't already, please do me a favor. Consider subscribing, like this video. And uh, next up, I'm not sure which order, but I'm going to run both these sharks. Same exact test, and we'll see if they can handle it. I do think the Shark IQ is going to have a little bit of an issue with that tiny dirt bin it has. I have a feeling that it's too much debris and it's gonna fail. I hope not, but that's my guess. All right, everybody, have a great day and thanks for watching. See ya.